Welcome back. We are hanging out with my co-host Jack Harlow right here, ladies and gentlemen. Yes! He's currently on tour with his album Come Home, The Kids Miss You, which is out right now. Uh, pick it up right now and check it out on all the Spotify and all the things you listen yes. to music on. Yeah. Yes, please. Uh, thank you. Thank you for being here, buddy. You know, uh, I think you were a musical guest in 2020. That's right. It was your first TV appearance. Uh, you, I think I, I heard um, What's Poppin', and I, I shazammed it. And I was like, who, this kid, who is this guy? Jack Harlow, he's amazing. And they called up, and someone was like, oh, I don't know if he's ready for TV. He's, I mean, the song just... Well, I hope you take this the right way. I feel like you were very early for late night television. <laughs> and I mean, I feel like a lot of artists, when their song finally is in super rotation on the radio, then it's like, okay, let's get them up here. Yeah. You were... To me, a tastemaker in that moment. You were super early, so. That's what I'm talking See, that's what I'm talking about. That, thank you. For real. You were, you, were really, you were really early on that, so thank you for having me. But I love that you came on, because I was like, it really was your first TV appearance, and everyone on your team was a little kind of nervous. You weren't. You were like, Let's oh, I do was. This. I was nervous. You were? Yeah. You didn't show it. You killed it. Can't show it. Yeah, you can't show it. Uh, and then it's so fun to watch your career rise and rise, and I recently got to see you at the VMAs. Congratulations on winning thank all you. those. All those new people. Thank you. Thank you. First class. Uh, that was awesome. It's got to feel good. Feels amazing. And Sorry, then, summer. and then you asked me to what do you call it? To be in the opening with you, which yeah. I was like, absolutely, buddy. I'll do anything for you. So, first class, you did it in like a, like we were in an airplane together. Uh, and so, yeah, there's me. <laughs> wow. That's me right there. I forgot how cool you looked in this moment. <laughs> I look pretty cool right there. Yeah, I was like just chilling out, man. Yeah, exactly. It was me and Lil Nas X there. I think Avril Lavigne's on this plane somewhere. Yeah, yeah uh, a lot of legends. Yeah, we had we had soup. It was Nemo. Oh yeah. I think Who? Saucy Santana's back there. Chloe Bailey. Yeah, oh, that was, Saucy that was Santana was there as well. That was a fun moment. Uh, but then you came out and kind of co-hosted the VMAs. But who's who's this guy you came out with? I'm so glad you asked. Because I so he, nice to you. this his his appearance was off script. You know, because I was already co-hosting with the legends Nicki Minaj and LL oh, Cool J. J. So yeah. they were expecting me to go out on my own, do my part. And uh, I was been sitting with Drewski throughout the show, and I was like, yo, you want to just come with me? So this is, this is Drewski. <laughs> uh, you just grabbed him and go, hey, does he even have a microphone? Yeah, this, this, is one of my, this is one of my truest friends. He, he didn't have a mic, but he would just bend over and talk into mine. <laughs> but I was telling you before the show, you got to get him up here. You got to get this. This guy right here... Drewski. Keep, if you don't know, if you don't know, keep your eye on this guy. This guy's a genius. Okay, right good. Here. All right, yeah. Drewski, yeah, we're coming for you, bud. All right, all right yeah. Uh, I thought it was great. You came out, you performed, you were so good, and I know you, uh, you sample a little bit of Fergie in the song, First Class. A lot of it. <laughs> a lot of it. <laughs> a little bit, a lot of it. A lot yeah, of it. and uh, you brought out Fergie, and the place went nuts. Crazy. And here she is, you and Fergie. Um, yeah, that's pretty good. And I, I heard a uh, story that you once tried to perform Fergie at school, like well, a talent show. There was a, yeah, a talent show when I was in fifth grade. Uh, I tried to do Fergalicious. <laughs> it's a true story, true story. <laughs> and you know the lyrics are suggestive, I guess to me. To me, it wasn't anything. Yeah, but you didn't get it when you're. I didn't grade. even get to finish the audition. I was halfway through, and they cut me off. They're like, you can't do that. <laughs> So that's, that's my uh, rapper origin story. For yes, me. yeah, exactly, yeah. Uh, and then just recently, uh, by the way, uh, you're in the uh, Time 100 next. Uh, you're on the list, buddy, uh, right here. There's Kiki on the cover. There he is, right there. Jack Harlow right there in the Time 100. <laughs> and they, uh, they asked me to write your intro. Yeah, they know the connection we have. Yeah, yeah. Did you know I was going to write it? I had no idea. I woke up to it and... Yeah, we didn't tell Once you. again, thank you. I mean, it's is... been cool to climb the ladder with you, you know, different steps away from the VMA performance to, like you said, the first time I came on here. Now I you're doing it. Barclay Center tomorrow. Crazy. I, I mean, that's... How's... How's the tour going? It's phenomenal. It's my first time with a live band. Yeah. Um, do, you, do you like touring? I actually like it a lot, especially in the U.S. I like the bus life. You know, I've gotten sick of the airport, so to me, being able to be in a bus and wake up in a new city, like... Yeah. I was telling dream. everyone today, you, you pulled up in a tour bus this morning. 2.30, Rock. Yeah, right to the... You didn't even have well, we any time coming, off. We were coming from Toronto, 
And we left, I think, at around 5 a.m. Yeah. So we pull off, and we thought we were gonna get here at 1. And then I wake up at 3, and I open my shades, and I look out, and I'm just seeing skyscrapers and taxis. Yeah. And I realize we're so late that we're headed right here. So yeah. You didn't even get a chance to go to a hotel and yeah, do but nothing. It's like, let's, let's go. I'm ready. Yeah, exactly. Right. You came and showed up. As your, um, uh, your mom, I know, is super proud of you, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and yeah, she loves everything you do. I heard that the story you guys would freestyle in your car. Yeah, yeah. When I was when I was super young, I would plug up to the aux and put on beats from YouTube. But your mom would freestyle she as would well, free, and she would freestyle with me, and we would go back and That's forth. That's a mom. That is a supportive mom for you, right trust, there. Trust you know, me. Trust me. You know what I'm saying? But what would your mom freestyle rap about? Oh, uh, she was dark, man. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> That's so no, funny. No, she would say things I can't even yeah, say. Yeah, of course. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, and then you actually used to record music videos. And uh, this is something you brought us. I appreciate this. This is one of your earliest raps. Take a look at young Jack Harlow. Well, I think you're getting busy working on my next track. So don't get mad if you try to text Jack and he doesn't text back. I mean, I'm sorry. I wish I could make it to your birthday party. But you know what? Yeah. <laughs> that's, a, that's a good rap. I'd be mad if it don't text back. Listen, man, I'm from, I'm from the trenches, man. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm happy that you're here. We're going to uh, interview Dwayne Wade together. But I just want to say congrats on everything, bud. Thank it's you. always a pleasure watching. Keep going up. Higher and higher and higher, buddy. Go. Come on. Jack the Harlow. Goat. Jack Harlow, everybody. More information on Come Home, The Kids Miss You Tour. Go to jackharlow.us. Jack and I will be right back with Dwayne Wade. Stick around, everybody. Hey, hey.